Hi everyone, Professor Hank here, and today we're going to talk about functions in the C string header file you can use to make your life easier when dealing with C strings. So we'll take a look at seven specifically that our textbook covers. So we're going to need to do hashtag included C string to get access to them. And these functions are going to be string lane, string cat, string copy, string in cat, and string in copy, string comp and stree stree so let's go ahead and get started we'll we'll start off by taking a look at the stree len function and the stree len function just tells you the length of a string right of a c string so this function will accept as an argument either a c string or a pointer to a c string and will return an integer that is the number of characters that are in the string excluding the null terminator so for example if i call the stree lane function and I pass it um, hello and I pass it hello and I can store in a variable you know the length that gets returned and then I'll display on the screen that length so this is going to return five and store it in our variable there and then I'll display that variable on the screen so we're going to see five why because there's five characters in hello all right so you can pass a string literal, but you can also pass a array, okay? That's storing a C string. So you could do something like this. You could say care of stree equals uh, hello, okay? And then you could pass that array as an argument instead. And so then uh, it's going to work just the same. Um, so there you go. Now, the next function that we'll take a look at is we'll take a look at stree cat. Okay? Now, what stree cat does is it concatenates concatenates two strings so you can have one array that we'll call destination and that array will initialize with hello okay and then we'll have another array which we'll call source initialize that with a string space world okay so what concatenation is going to do with this stree cat function is that we'll take this C string here, and it's going to get tacked on to the end of this C string in the dest array. So the dest array is going to become modified. It's going to get updated. It's going to contain hello space world after street cat is called. So you call street cat and you pass the destination first and then the source right now. Once we've done that, we'll go ahead and print out our updated destination array the c string that it contains but before that we'll do like kind of a before and after right now you're going to notice that when you try to run this if you're using visual studio it's going to throw up on you okay and you can take a look at the error message down here it says streak at this function or variable may be unsafe but not all compilers do that and you need to know how the function works so to get around that you can come up here and write this code pound define crt underscore secure underscore no warnings okay generally that's a bad idea to do but to demonstrate this function working we kind of have to do it uh, so anyway so here you go you've got the before which is hello and then you've got the after which is hello world all right so that's how street cat works so now we'll look at stree copy and this copies one C string to another, right? Or overwrites one C string with another or overwrites one with another. All right. So, you know, we've got that hello world in the dest array now, but if we call stree copy and pass the dest something like, I don't know, X, 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 okay? And if we do that, then this string here is going to completely overwrite the hello world. So if we were to see out test, right, we're not going to see the hello world anymore because we overwrote what was in there with all those X's, right? So there's the, there's the output for that. So that's how string copy works. Now, how does string cat and string copy work well the works basically the same except that you have a third argument and that third argument specifies you know how many bytes or how many characters you actually want to copy so you can copy you know not the whole thing so i could do something like this i could do um 
stri in copy and i could say something like we're going to go to the destination and we're going to copy from the source array um, say three characters okay and now if i do that i'm not going to be copying the entire src array here right we're just going to be copying these first three characters okay so let's see what that looks like gives you a little bit of control all right to exactly how many characters you want to have right there so you can see there's the space wo overwrote the first three characters but the rest are all still in there stri and cat does a similar kind of thing but for concatenation so let's say that we wanted to do dest and i have a string here you know doggy dog bow wow or something right i can specify that i only want to copy the first five characters of that string and concatenate that to whatever's in dest okay so see out dest and then you'll see how this thing works okay let's go ahead and run that so now you can see there's the doggy at the end so now let's take a look at street compare and what this does is this compares strings compares c strings so this compares c strings so i could have say array a and i'll initialize it with uh, hank and then i'll have array b and i'll initialize it with hank okay so the street comp function will take as an argument two c strings so we can call it just like this and we can pass it arguments just like this and if it returns zero okay if it returns zero then that means that they are the same both of the c strings are the same you know alphabetically character by character so you could say see out they are the same right so that's what you're going to see because they are the same all right now if they're not the same then you'll get a different integer so we'll say not the same now let's say that i change this to um, gank now we see it's not the same okay so we can check to see if one comes before the other so you know g comes before h so let's say we had gank and ank right so then i can say well if right less than zero then a comes before b a before b otherwise b before a All right so let's take a look at that okay a before b why because gank comes before hank g has a smaller ascii code than h and so the value returned by string cup is going to be negative All right now if it was the other way around yunk okay then it would say b before a because the i comes after so what happens here is that um, string cup is going to return a positive number summary right so if string comp returns zero then the strings are the same the c strings are the same the c strings are the same right but if it returns less than zero all right then the first argument c string comes before the second argument c string and then finally if it's it shouldn't be less than or equal to it should just be less than finally if it's greater than okay then the second argument c string comes before the first argument. okay so okay so that's going to bring this video to a close if you're a student of mine you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video feel free to drop me an email stop by my office hours or hit me up on zoom online for the rest of you if you thought the video was useful please consider giving a thumbs up if you thought the video sucked you got the thumbs down button as well consider supporting the channel in various ways you can subscribe you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents leave a comment whatever but most of all thanks for watching and we'll see you next time